I have a problem with time. And that is not because I feel like I'm not doing enough with my life and I will never be remembered for what I've done. Oh my God, am I wasting what precious time I have left on earth? No, it's because time is stupid. But why? He's such a philosopher. He's so smart. I should definitely subscribe. Well, that's because there's two different systems that are both equally terrible in their own right. Uh, what's wrong with the lights? Ow! Oh! First off, we have the 24-hour system. The system does incredibly well in the first 12 hours, but once we get to the afternoon, things take a turn. See, on a digital clock, it goes to 13, but then on an analog clock, it goes back to 1. So logically, what this system decides to do is just to kind of do both. So when the clock says it's 16 and somebody asks you the time, you say it's 4 o'clock. When it says 20, you say it's 8 o'clock, and so on and so forth. So every time somebody asks you the time, you have to think to yourself, do I need to do minus 12? Or do I not need to get math involved? I'm not sure why counting to higher numbers than 12 is suddenly an issue. I mean, we can count to 60 seconds, can't we? Like, sure, when it's 9 at night, you probably know it's not 9 in the morning. But why make the distinction? That's like turning 62 and saying you're 12. Like, yes, everybody knows you're not a prepubescent child, but why do we even need to consider that? This creates a lot of unnecessary complications and confusion. But luckily for the world, the other system is just as bad. This way of counting attempts to avoid having to count higher than 12 by getting letters involved for some reason. AM, which is short for the Latin word ante meridiem, which means before midday, and PM, which is short for post meridiem, meaning after midday. But I like to think that AM stands for awful migraine and PM stands for plenty of margaritas because I'm an alcoholic. But why is this system so bad? First of all, why completely split the day up in two? I mean, it's, it's fine. It's just a bit weird, no? It does fix the problem of having to do math when you look at the time, but it completely falls apart when you switch from AM to PM and vice versa. Both AM and PM are 12 hours long, so logically you'd start from 1 AM and then count to 12 AM, right? WRONG! You start at 12 AM, go to 12.59 and then start counting normal from 1. I mean, what the fuck? I get that anything after midnight is considered AM, but then why not start from 000 like the 24 hour system does? Is this how we count now? Imagine how confusing that is. So class, who can tell me what six plus six is? Uh, 12? Yes, that is correct. What about six minus six? Uh, also 12? Correct, again. God, these type of idiot systems piss me off. Don't even get me started on calendars. Okay, who are you? I'm a ghost. No, you're not. If I'm not a ghost, then how can I do this? Whee! I made a clock. So it turns out making a clock is a lot more difficult than one might think. After almost breaking it a couple of times, I just kind of gave up and put some paper over the original, but you get what I'm going for. But my final question is, why don't we have a 24 hour clock like this? Now obviously this one doesn't work, but the idea still stands. Why don't we have a clock that is in sync with our digital clocks? Aside from it not working on a watch, because HOLY SHIT THAT'S A LOT OF NUMBERS! And that is the exact reason that the 24 hour clock never became popular. Too much information, too many numbers, makes it difficult to read. And that's the whole thing about a clock, it has to be accessible for everybody to always read it. But then, did I fix time with my innovative clock? Yes. Yes I did. But the real question is, why do we want to control time? When no matter what we do, time will always control us. No matter how good our systems get, it will always be man-made, and nature isn't known for playing with our rules. So why should we waste our valuable time on Earth trying to control time, when ultimately, time is all we've got? Wait, but then why did I make this clock?